you're looking at the fourth event of Lost Cup and what I thought would be a very complex level actually turned out to be basically a hoila. Once you found some decent moves, or in my case your teammate Eldron found some decent moves, the level was actually really fun to play and it was a nice break from the previous one where it was a very complicated level. But basically you have these four apples here in the middle of the level and then you have the flower down here to the right. And the most straightforward way to go about it is to start here to the left and somehow make your way under this block here. Grab this apple, come back here to the right and then maybe come around here somehow up. Grab this apple, come down here, grab this last one in the bottom left and then go for a hang here and uh, come down to this loop and up to the flower. Now probably you can already see a shortcut that you can do here and that's after grabbing this apple you can come straight down here for this apple and continue left. You will lose some leftward momentum coming back but it should be faster. And then in the beginning I thought maybe you could also start down towards the right here, grab this apple, come back left and then maybe do some crazy drop outside here. But then you realize that getting back to this apple here is actually really hard and also grabbing this apple and making it like across this gap here is also very hard. So I didn't play too much but I think this is not possible and I think the only viable route to go is the one I showed you first like zigzagging around here and coming up to the flower. But who knows? I've been wrong before many times actually. So it's gonna be really fun to see these replays and uh, let's check out what happened in Lost Cup 404. Really fun to see 96 players this event it keeps increasing but uh, coming up here towards 50th place we have Kiviviki. Again, I think this is the second time we watch his replay in this cup and uh, already down to 3419, which is a really good time actually. So let's check out the replay and then we'll work our way further up. Kiviviki. Starting towards the left here. You have to push a little bit, otherwise you would fall off the cliff immediately. And let's see, coming in here, gonna dodge this kind of block. Does it nice, picks with the head first. And then uh, coming up here towards the first or the second apple actually. And let's see, yeah, looks like he's gonna go for this shortcut immediately. You have to kind of break a little bit there to not hit that uh, edge that is sticking out. And he does it beautifully. Coming up here, coming towards the, the last apple already. And uh, grabs it, comes in for this hang before the flower. And uh, beautiful, gets off and just straight up jump to the flower. 34.19, no crazy stuff, it's pretty much what we thought would happen. And I didn't mention it, but uh, actually grabbing this apple and then falling straight down and not hitting this corner here is really hard. Because you can't really keep your wheel here and just stretch for the apple because you don't have enough rightwards momentum. So what you have to do is you kind of have to just lose your speed on this polygon just enough to barely grab this apple but still manage to clear this corner. Which I think will be key to this level, how you lose the speed in a quick way, <laughs> if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, we'll see in the replays coming up and uh, moving up towards 40th place we have Vise. fun seeing him here i don't really see him playing cups that often actually and a uh, beautiful time 33 33 let's check it out Vise starting towards the left as well doing these two early pushes and a little bit different kind of drop here jumping up early and then uh, coming in here grabs with the back wheel keeps good amount of speed towards the right and let's see will he stop here as well to go for the drop he doesn't stop to do a straight down drop, instead he just does a little bit of zigzag, but it, that also means he doesn't have to stop really, so he doesn't lose that much speed. And let's see, coming up here for the last apple, nice push on the block, straight down, and then coming in for this hang here. This part was really awkward to get well and not get stuck anywhere. And then coming up for the flower, beautiful 33-33 by Vise. So far a very simple level, but we know when we get to those top replays we're always gonna see some crazy stuff anyway. And uh... Working our way up in 30th place, we have Meng. Meng comes in at a 32.09, improving actually more than a second on Vise's time. Let's see how he did it. Meng also starting towards the left, no surprises. Does the same kind of drop as Vise does, an early jump there to clear the corner. And then uh, grabs the apple in the same way as well. So far pretty much identical to Vise's run. So what will the time save be? Yeah, looks like it's going to be the straight down drop here. Barely clears that corner, hits it a little bit, but and barely clears, uh, gets that apple as well with the head. Really beautiful stuff. Comes in here for the push down. Looks like a very clean ending as well. Maybe loses a little bit of traction, but uh, no harm done. Beautiful run by Meng, 3209. And so far to me, these replays are looking really, really clean. So gonna be really fun to see what happens when we work our way up. We see some other really familiar names here. And in 20th place, we have Insky. Insky comes in at 3144, more than half a second of improvement on Meng's time. Insky also starting towards a little bit different kind of vault timing there actually for the first couple of pushes. 
and a little bit different kind of drop as well. Goes straight in there and uh, gets a tiny push in the beginning as well. Let's see, comes in for the grab here and oof, barely gets that apple. Clears the corner, gets in for this hang and does a one wheel hang here, not a two wheel hang like we saw Meng doing. And then coming up here for the block and the push around. Let's see how he gets this entry to the hang. Really clean, loses a little bit of traction maybe. Coming up here for the flower at 3144. Now the things that stood out to me in that replay was the little bit different kind of start where he just drove straight down and just got a tiny push from this corner to make it in under the hang here. And also he did a one wheel hang here instead of doing a two wheel hang like we saw Ming doing. But was it faster? So here you can see Inska in the red shirt, we have Meng in the orange shirt, and you're gonna see Inska doing this different kind of start. He doesn't do the early jump like you can see Meng in the background. Instead he gets this push from the corner here and just goes straight down and grabs the apple, and you can tell already he has a little bit of a lead thanks to that style. And then let's see, they both come in and slow down here for this apple, and Inska has a really clean drop across this corner. Back wheel just touches a little bit, I think Meng touches maybe a tiny bit more, but then comes in, and here you can see Inska is doing a one wheel hang, Whereas Meng comes in for a two wheel hang. And I'm honestly not sure which is faster, but as you can tell here, Insky will get a little bit different kind of rotation here. So he can get a push here early from the downward slope, which Meng can't. So I don't know, I think that saves maybe a little bit of time. But uh, yeah, they both keep kind of the same distance, actually. So maybe it's not the biggest difference. At least the start we could tell was what generated the biggest difference here. But let's see what other tricks could be hidden in this level as we work our way up to 10th place. And uh, we see some familiar names. We see uh, Elrond did all the style finding this level. I didn't help at all. I just uh, managed to squeeze out a little bit better time than him in the end. But uh, I'm really happy with our placement. We both played like just a couple of hours actually. But let's see, in 10th place we have Hosp with a 3070. Really nice time by Hosp. Let's check out the replay. Osp starting to the left as well, no crazy business yet. Let's see, comes in here, doesn't go for the same kind of pushes, gasses a little bit on the polygon there, so a little bit different but still the same idea. And let's see, comes in, uses the back wheel here for the drop and ooh, gets a really nice stick on top of that polygon. Comes in here for a one wheel hang as well, gets this kind of rotation to get a second push here. Comes in here for the block spin, grabs the apple, comes out, this part again was really awkward, goes for a one wheel hang here. Maybe that allows him to get a bit lower and guess a little bit more here in the end, actually. I think maybe that was the key, but also, like, look at this beautiful stick here that it gets. Breaks, 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 and even gets a tiny, tiny push here to just break a little bit more to stop enough. Really beautiful stuff by Hosp there. And then, yeah, one wheel hang here in the end. I think, I didn't actually really try this myself, but I think this allows him to get, yeah, first he can push a little bit here underneath the hang. And also this means he doesn't touch this roof here, which I always did in my runs. And gets down quicker here and can gas much sooner. So I think this end is probably a little bit faster as well. Beautiful stuff. Let's see what happens in 5th place, where we have... Mjeltz. Mjeltz is constantly showing up in the top in the last few events. And with a pretty significant time drop as well. 30.23 compared to Hosp's 30.70, improving half a second actually in just 5 placements. Mjelt starting towards the left. Is it going to be the same kind of just straight on drop? Looks like it. And a push from the corner as well. Really clean push straight on the corner. Let's see how he does this stop here. Is it with the back wheel as well? Looks like it's going to be. And uh, not exactly like Hosp did it, but gets down really with a huge margin actually. Comes in here for the push. Actually loses a little bit of gassing there. So don't know how this run could be faster. But yeah, nice one wheel hang as well. Gets down early and able to gas early and gets the flower. The drop was very clean, look at the margin he has here. I think it's thanks to the back wheel hang, but huge margin to clear that corner. But really surprising here to see, doesn't have enough rotation or enough height, so he has to basically not gas in the whole slope down here, he just goes for the push, but if he were to gas, his head would hit the ground too early. So no gassing there, but still manages to improve half a second on Hosp's time. So I guess we know where we can save maybe a few hundreds of a second or a tenth of a second. But let's see what's going to happen in places 4 to 1. Because in 4th place we have Adi. Adi improves already 0.2 seconds in just one placement. And after winning the last event, this is a really great showing by Adi. 30.05. Here is Adi's run. Is it going to be the same kind of just straight drop and push from the corner? He gets a first, he gets two pushes on the way down there actually. Really beautiful start by Adi. And let's see, coming in here. 
gonna be the back wheel stick as well. Grabs the apple, really have the same kind of margin. Yeah, but he also catches that corner a little bit with that counter auto. It comes around here, good push. Also, it doesn't gas all the way, maybe. But really fast block there, I think. And uh, coming in for a one wheel hang and uh, coming up to the flower. I think that was the fastest turn we've seen at the last apple so far. But yeah, maybe it loses a little bit of momentum because he has to all an extra time here. So he just has to catch that corner a little bit more heavily. But uh, beautiful part here. Also, maybe it doesn't guess fully, but uh, a little bit. But this block looked really fast, this turn here. And coming in for the hang. Beautiful stuff by Adi. And now we're entering the podium. In third place, we have... Finman. Great showing by Finman again. And he's the first one to break the 30 second barrier, 29.97. And is he gonna give us something crazy like he did last event? Let's find out. Let's see if it does the same kind of double push in the start here. Let's see. One tiny push there maybe. A good push from the corner. Coming in here. Grabs the apple. Gets a little bit stuck maybe. Out there to the left. But uh, no harm done. Coming in here for the break. And a uh, beautiful drop. Doesn't need to counter all those. So doesn't lose any speed on that corner I think. And good can gas all the way down that downward slope. Tiny break on the block actually. Maybe that allows him to get a little bit faster turn. And then coming up here for the flower. At a 29.97. And here we have a quick merge between Finman and Audi here in the background. So let's see here. Pretty much identical starts. Both getting this tiny push here and then the push from the corner up here. And here I think I mentioned that Finman gets a little bit stuck on this corner of this polygon here. Goes out a little bit far to the left. Gets a tiny snag there. And you can see this actually allows Audi to pull out a little bit ahead here in the start. So Audi leading about a wheel length so far. But then something happens here. Finman gets a little bit different kind of break and actually passes Audi from that breaking point. And again, I told you this place would be key to this level. And honestly, it's so tiny the difference that I can barely catch it. Audi gets stuck a little bit longer. I think it's just a little bit different timing on the vault when you counter vault to let that break stick a little bit more. But uh, you can tell Finman just lets go of the breaking already here and starts falling down maybe a little bit before Audi and just. I don't know, gets a little bit better downwards momentum. And you can tell that he was a wheel length behind, but he actually touches this polygon before Audi. And Audi also has this kind of counter vaulting that he does here. So he has a little bit more rotation, which means he will hit this platform here a little bit harder and therefore lose a little bit of downwards momentum. But maybe also get a better push in the end. So maybe that evens out. But coming in here, you can see now Finman has gotten a little bit of a lead. And seeing as he was behind before, this is actually a very big improvement. And then coming in for this part here, this is actually where they had the most difference in their runs. You will see that Finman breaks a tiny bit on this block here, which allows him to get a full rotation before the apple. Whereas Audi will struggle a little bit and actually cannot get like this full contact on this uh, diagonal polygon. We will see here Finman coming around here in the foreground and he has both wheels touching the hang and then can push out. Whereas Audi can only push out using the back wheel. So maybe it's not like a full push out towards the right. But coming in here full speed, Finman full contact, Audi not quiet and Finman just pulls out a little bit ahead thanks to that and can get the flower below 30 seconds. So really interesting to see but of course we have two more replays and two even faster times. And let's see in second place we have Raven. Raven at 29.82, improving actually 0.15 seconds on Finman's time, which for a level like this is a huge margin. And as we know from the previous event, Finman and Raven are in the same team, but <laughs> also as we know from the last event, that doesn't mean anything because they seem to do whatever they want. And here we have Raven's 29.82. Let's see, is it gonna be the same start? We never know a team dot. Beautiful push from the corner there, coming in for this apple, doesn't get any stuck or anything, and then comes up here for the breaking. And actually it does a different style than Finman. What is it with Team Dot and doing these different kind of styles? We saw Finman going in here and actually having a clockwise rotation, so he could go head first into this stick. But we see Raven here instead, coming in, just gassing a little bit in the ceiling here, and coming in and using what was his back wheel, what is now his front wheel, to break here. So completely different. This is actually the same style that me and Aldron were using. And then uh, coming around here and grabbing the apple and just barely, barely catches that apple. And then let's see, coming in here for the drop. One wheel hang as well. Nice, gets good height there, can guess, all the way on this polygon. Coming in for the block around here. Nice turn here at the last apple and just simple back wheel hang. 
can gas all the way down here and flower at 2982. But what is it with Team Dutton doing these different kind of styles? And just for reference, here we have Raven overlaid on Finman, just to see which kind of drop there is the fastest and to show you the differences in what they did at the stick. Let's see, both coming in here, pretty much identical starts. Finman actually snags this corner a little bit more than Raven, so he actually loses a little bit of speed here. We looked at it before as well. But uh, coming up here, and then as you can see, Finman having a completely different rotation, coming in head first, whereas Raven goes back wheel first, and uh, just different kind of sticks. And notice here how Raven just, I guess he's going to grab the apple after Finman maybe, or not. This beautiful push here to extend the wheel, use that elasticity. And both just barely grabbing that apple. But it actually looks like Raven. I mean, Finman was a little bit behind because of that snag in the beginning. Maybe like a little bit more than a wheel actually. But uh, it looks like Raven maybe increases his lead a little bit on Finman there. So is that style faster? It's really hard to tell. But coming in here for the end, they did pretty much identical styles as well. I don't think this was any major difference actually. So it's all about that drop. But let's see. There's only one replay remaining and one player who beat everybody else. And I can't help but notice that there's a certain other Team Dot player lacking from this list so far. Now, if he played or not, I have no idea. But let's see. In first place, we have... Speth. Team Dot actually gets a triple stack in this event. Speth first place, Raven second place, Finman third place. Team Finland, I guess, gets a four stack. And notice Team Dot is the only team to be below 30 seconds as well. Such a beautiful run by Team Dot. And a really beautiful run by Speth as well, who improves actually almost 0.2 seconds on Raven's time. So let's check out Speth's replay and see if he did the same kind of drop as Finman did, or as Raven did, or if he did anything else different. And here we have Spef's winning replay 2964. Let's see, starting left as well, no craziness. Coming in here, gets a tiny push, gets a push from the corner, in beneath the hang here. So clean, so smooth. Doesn't get stuck at all on this corner here. Can gas all the way down. Really beautiful stuff. Coming in here, is it going to be the Finman or the Raven? Actually, it is the Raven style. Coming in here and using what was his back wheel to just... Grab here and then does this extra push to extend to get the apple. And then coming in here for the push. Coming down, one wheel hang. Beautiful, good height, can gas all the way here. Coming in for the turn. Really nice stuff coming in, one wheel hang. It's just such a clean run all around. Coming up here for the flower and for the win. So beautiful stuff by Spef. Congratulations him, congratulations Team Dot on a beautiful showing and also Audi for getting fourth place. I mean, he's basically alone <laughs> competing against this monster of a team. And if we take a look at the standings now, we're seeing Spef in the lead still with Raven and Finman on his heels. And then we actually have Hoss peering between Audi, but this might be a bit misleading because we also have the skips. You have one skip in this cup. So if we include that, we see still Spef in the lead, Raven and Audi not far behind. But Audi beating out Finman so far, and then Hosp and Bien straight behind. And then we have Blastic, Mielz, Pelu and Andri making up the top 10. And by now we're halfway through the cup already, but anything can happen. The cup is still relatively young and the players all seem like they came to compete. So it's going to be really exciting to see what happens in the four remaining events. And the next event doesn't look to be any easier. It's a huge level and it's going to be really interesting to see. I'll see you there next week. Thanks for watching.